Okay, I'm back. Uh, I want to present to you Exodus chapter 10, verses 20 through 23, and another little short video. I've still got a little bit of light to work with here. Exodus chapter 10, verses 20 through 23. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go. Now then, what was about to happen was the ninth of the Egyptian of the plagues on, on the Egyptians. Uh, I want to bring out the fact, I want to stress and emphasize the fact that the Hebrews all still had light in their dwellings. Anyway, that's your, that's your takeaway from this. Before I even get started reading the rest of the text, I'll start back at verse 21 here in a minute. But I want you to get it uh, in your mind that the Egyptians couldn't make a spark or light a candle or, or see anything in their homes for three days. We're not talking about just at night. We're talking about the daytime too. There was darkness over the land of Egypt, but the Hebrews had light in their dwellings. Now I'm going to read it for you, starting at verse 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Short video. A uh, minute and 49 so far. It got so dark that the Egyptians didn't even get up out of their chairs. It was that dark. They couldn't see. Uh, you know, it's just like, what are you going to do when you can't see? What are you going to do when you open the fridge and the light don't come on? Uh, I know when the power's out, that happens. But, I mean, what are you going to do when it's pitch dark? There ain't even a firefly. You're going to stay in, in your seat. <laughs> You're going to just sit there and wait for the light to come back. Pharaoh brought this ninth plague on the nation of Egypt by not turning the nation of Israel loose to go out and worship their God. Uh, Moses and Aaron didn't really ask that much of Pharaoh. He said, just let us go three days journey out and, and uh, you know, have a worship service. That's all we want to do is have church. We just want to go out and worship the Lord for a little while, and, and we'll come back. We'll go back to your uh, brick pits and your your uh, your clay clay pits, and we'll make you some more bricks. We just want to go out, you know. But you know, Pharaoh, even after all the blood and the lice and the flies and the maggots and the and the, and the frogs and the and the, man, even after all of that mess, the locusts, <laughs> even after all that. The, man, Pharaoh still had not quite got it. And here come the ninth plague, the darkness for three days, where they couldn't even see to get up out of their chairs in the land of Egypt. But the Hebrews all had light in their dwellings. I want to tell you now, I'm, I'm not going to go beyond five minutes on this video, but I just want to tell you, uh, and this is not as a challenge to Satan, because I already know that Satan don't like me. And I, I'm not looking to poke a stick at a, at a wasp's nest. Uh, I want him to leave me alone. I don't care for Satan. I want him to leave me alone completely. And if he messes with me, I'm going to say, Jesus, would you would you please uh, just get this guy? Please, Lord, he's your, he's your devil. Just get him by the neck and, and pull him off me for a minute. And, and uh, let's go back. I'm sorry I mentioned him. You know? <laughs> Sorry I even thought about him. Uh, I want to talk to you only to his boss, Jesus. Uh, talk to Jesus. Hey, Jesus, this is your devil. Get him back off of me. I'm sorry I mentioned him. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. But uh, <laughs> it's really nice at my house because we all love Jesus. We got light. And uh, most of the time, our, our power don't go out long enough for the fridge to get warm. And our heater don't go off long enough for the house to get cold. Because the Lord loves us and we love Him and we earnestly serve Him from all of our hearts. And I suggest you do the same. 